will seek and I will find while well, I try to keep a steady mind I will follow all the signs this healing takes time I will find my way back home hey welcome back to the channel end up using the black bore ATV implements to move this dirt around so if you haven't checked out my unboxing video be sure to have a look at that this dirt is mostly uh, sand it's like a 80 90 percent sand rest topsoil which is pretty dense at first i just tried backing up on the hill and using the blade to, to uh, pull it down but that didn't work at all i wasn't able to sort of dig down enough so what i did was just use my wheelbarrow to fill in a few holes and then just threw the dirt around just to lower it this pile came out pretty close to where the car is and I ended up moving that first. I'm driving back and forth on it with the vehicle and ended up packing down pretty uh, hard like cement. So this gave me a chance to use the chisel plow to try to break up all that dirt and scrape it off the driveway. So I ended up lowering the chisel plow all the way to the bottom. So you'll see I wasn't very confident at pushing this down all the way because I wasn't too sure how my bike would handle it because it is pretty heavy and pretty strong. The more you push down it changes the angle of the chisel plow. You can see how they're sort of pointing up still and not, uh, not getting a good bite onto the ground. It's just sort of skimming the top. Because this is heavy enough, I ended up taking the, the blade right off and just using the chisel plow to break up the dirt and then putting the blade back on to move it around. It just made it a little easier for my bike to use it. I was able to push down a little more. You can see the angle of that blackboard sticker. I was more straight than pointing up. Over there, the chisel plow was able to bite in a little bit more. And I figured I would raise the chisel plows up a bit. That way there I can lower the actuator more so that changed the angle of the chisel plow so that it dug into the ground more instead of just bouncing off the top. Again, this has been driven on pretty much all summer, so it was packed down like cement. With each pass, I got a little bit more confident in it. I started off easy at first because I just wasn't too sure on the strength of my hitch. There's only basically two ears holding this receiver on. I didn't want to snap them off. But did a very good job. Hardly any gravel. Just broke up the dirt. You do see a bit of gravel in there, but it's mostly packed dirt on the top. So here I'm just using the blade to try to scrape it off to the side. You can see the pile of gravel there that I that uh, I threw on top of it after just to keep the mud down. I'll be getting another pile this summer. Be using this to move that around as well. Okay. 
Not too much gravel in there, so I was able to scrape off the top coat. I think this did a very good job. Impressed with it so far. I was going to use a chisel plow to refresh the driveway, but I'm just going to get more gravel delivered and use the, uh, the blade to push it around. It's hard to tell from, from the angle of the video, but it's about a foot and a half difference. It used to be three feet high, that pile of dirt, but I shoveled it down to about a foot and a half. So I'm leaving the chisel plow on to sort of help break up the dirt and then angled my blade so that I could keep pushing it further off the driveway so that I can widen my driveway. So whenever I get gravel delivered, I can throw it on top of where all that dirt is. If you like this so far, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I said before the more downforce you use it changes the angle of the chisel plow and the blade see how it's sort of sweeping up the more you push down it sort of digs more and here you can see in the background whenever I pass that the dirt is about a foot and a half higher than the driveway still it's almost at the top of the blade but by shoveling it and pushing it off to the side I was able to drive over top of it So far I'm happy with it. It works pretty good. It saved me a ton of work by, by shoveling by hand. And to pay someone with a Kubota, it's a four hour minimum charge, plus a delivery or a float charge. So it, it, for what it costs to pay someone to do this, even though it would have taken them 10 minutes, at least now I own something that I can use for further, or for projects later on, you know, when I get topsoil delivered. The biggest con about this is the connections, like the, the wiring. It's, it's extremely cheap. This summer I'll be cutting off the connection and putting a, a new connection on, on it. It's just a very, very cheap plastic. You know, with each pass I've been digging more and more. With each pass, I got a little bit more confident. My bike was holding up pretty well. Nothing nothing broke yet. Here I had to put it in low because I was taking too big of a bite, but after I stuck it in low, it was my bike uh, pulled right through. One thing I wish this did was turn around so I can use it as a plow. Instead of just pulling, I'd like to be able to push with it. I realize it wouldn't be as strong in that direction though, especially when it's just a two inch receiver. It worked pretty good. This would work extremely well if it was just topsoil. 
because uh, topsoil is obviously a lot lighter than this. This is mostly sand and, and topsoil mix. And plus it's been raining. Uh, so it's packed down pretty hard. But you can see, uh, you know, there's about a two and a half foot, three foot uh, hill. And now it's nice and flat. The reason for the strap though is because it's built so, so heavy that I was worried about those two ears snapping off. Because that's all that's holding the two inch receiver on. And my bike just wouldn't lift it. You know, I'd put it on and it would just twist the axle and it would actually raise my suspension. So I had to put this strap on to cinch it down. That way there my bike was able to lift it. This would be better suited for uh, a bigger bike, obviously, a UTV or something that just had independent suspension with a suspension lock. I don't know if they make suspension locks for a straight axle, but I definitely had to use this strap. Uh, if not, to, this bike wouldn't be able to use it at all. So that's it. If you liked it, leave a comment below. I'll be using it this summer for just topsoil and to move the gravel around whenever I get that delivered. So make sure you subscribe to check out those videos.